Hi everybody, I'm Walt Lewis and we're here with another Fire Engineering Training Minutes. Today I've got a friend of mine with me. I'm Engineer Paul O'Neill. And we're going to talk about doing the things that engineers can do on the fire ground to be heads up. Those couple things that you can take advantage of the time in between to help the scene run a little smoother. In this case, the heads up engineer realizes he's got a defunct fire hose and he's going to have to get a replacement piece. His crew's inside fighting fire and he doesn't want to shut the line down on him without it, but he's going to set up a replacement so that it's ready to go in case something else happens. Since the hose is in a nice S shape, he's able to use one piece instead of two sections of hose to give the replacement. Engine 12 driver, engine 12 lieutenant, if you have a hole in your attack line, I'll be laying a replacement next to it if needed. Here's the heads up engineer. He's heard that they needed ladders up to the front of the building and not having to wait for firefighters coming back. He can meet them up there or he can pull the ladder off quickly to get it into place. The inside crews are reporting they found a victim and bringing them out to the side alpha. The heads up engineer is grabbing the medical gear and getting it over to them, adding those precious seconds that can help save their lives. Like our buddy Nick Martin talks about being battle ready, there's always something else you can have in place ready to go. These are some of the things that the engineer can do to make the fire ground a little more efficient with those little bits of downtime of getting the fire gear in place, having a hose laid out, moving the medical gear to where it's going to be needed, all the things he can do to help run that fire scene a little bit smoother. That's what being a heads up engineer is all about. Paul, thanks for your help today. Thank you. Fire engineering training minutes. I'm Walt Lewis. Thanks. Mm -hmm.